I see the enemy. Oh, there he is. He's healing. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel for some more Escape from Tarkov. Lately, I've been hunting the goons on my Twitch channel, trying to find them as one of my final capital required missions. I heard word that one peg was fighting the goons on Lighthouse with his scav, so I decided to queue in and see if I can find them for myself. And this is what happened. Okay, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw, oh wait, did I not bring my nades? Oh, I'm so dumb. No, that, the goons don't spawn over there. They would spawn here, but uh, he's throwing chat, bro. But I, I would already be getting shot at if they were here. I actually killed Knight and uh, what's his face at that door during the offline. So like holding that right peak, they both come running through that area. It's like this weird thing about fences. Uh, with bird eye being on the left. So I definitely, I think I would have died there if they were there. So I'm just not prepared. Like I, grenades are essential for this. Without grenades, I can't push them into positions that I need to fight them. So I basically have to just use my body to bait them and hope that I don't get instantly killed. Which is not the greatest of plans. Yeah, like you need to get them to react. So it's either like you use the little bit of body bait and hope that you survive it. Body bait. You know what? You guys didn't have body break down there in the States in the 90s. You guys didn't start the day with like the, uh, the aerobic body break. Canadians know what I'm talking about. They eventually did. They, they went from uh, they did aerobic exercises in the morning and then they started selling supplements. No? Body break. No, this is a Canadian thing, I guess. It was supposed to be like a commercial break for your body. Classic. It'd always be like, I always tell the story. Like in the 90s, it was uh, nothing on TV before I think it was like 5 or 6 a.m. And then you'd have the Canadian national anthem with the Canadian flag. And then you'd go right into your aerobic exercises. I don't know, man. I feel like at this point, if they keep rotating like this, our best probability is in not chasing them, but to just play one map and keep hoping for them to get into that fucking spot. Yeah. Because, like, I'm just running around like a chicken with my head cut off, man. You just died to Big Pipe like one minute ago on Lighthouse. Woods main it is. Woods or Shoreline, I would say. Woods Woods or Shoreline are the two maps that I would feel confident in fighting them the most, especially with the grenade strategy. Customs, the thing about Customs, man, is like, at least when I was fighting them offline, they weren't aggressive enough to chase me into those like good positions. Why do you hate Customs? Uh, super competitive. So like it's, I got to deal with a lot of shit just to get into the position to fight them. Where like the other maps is like, it's not so, so bad, but I mean, I could, I could cuss. I think customs would be the fastest though. No grenade. I can't, I can't throw the nade in the building. Pretty sure somebody just sniped the dude off the gun anyway. I think like, if you're not dealing with other players. Oh, I'm doing something really stupid here. If you're not dealing with other players, uh, Shoreline is definitely the easiest, I think. Oh fuck, they're here!
Bird eye's right in front of me. I need the hemostat. I'm gonna die if I don't. Where do you think he went? I don't have an ETG on me. I mean, uh, I don't got nades either. I just need, I mean, I think I just have to sit here and hope I don't get sniped by another player. Yeah, but I don't want Bird Eye to kill me whenever I'm looting. Oh my god, we did it. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's fucking go, boys. Yes. Yo, we got players behind us, but I don't give a shit. We fucking got it done. You know what? I'm so happy we practiced yesterday. I'm so fucking happy we practiced. Because, like, I think that practice was essential for me to understand how they operate and how I need to maneuver with them. You know what I mean? Without that practice, I don't think I would have been able to figure it out. By the way, we grenaded them. I don't want big pipes thing. All right, there's a player that's going to be behind me. I heard him with the STM. What is this? Is this a class five? Oh my god, bro. I have his helmet, right? Wait, wait, no, where's 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 this thing? I wanna grab it. They're all class five. Dude, the grenade on bird eye though. We naded bird eye. Yo, I'm taking that. I want it. Bro, I'm taking it. I'm, it this backpack kind of sucks, but I feel like I, I have to take it. Or no, no, no. <sighs> Sweet. It's worth 300k? Why? Why is it worth that much? Why is the bag worth that much? I don't think I can store it. All right, where's the... where? Please, Northern Checkpoint. Yes. Scab in, boys. Yeah, scab in. Oh my god. Bro, the MP7. The MP7. You need to tell one peg thank you. Bro, I have a video going up about one peg today where we did the one peg, two peg, three peg. Bro, vehicle exits up. I didn't bring my money. What's the hurry? Oh, I just. I need to get out of the range of the 50 cal. That's what the hurry is. Uh, FMJ. Well, here's the thing, man. They all don't wear helmets. So, the the ammunition, like, when we were practicing, I was just using PS. 7.60 by 39 PS. The ammunition is a non-factor. It's like, it's like, you can, what, I think, from my experience... They suffer from stun lock, like old killer. In fact, that like they remind me, it's like three old killers running around. So it's like a uh, high rate of fire, mid to high tier pen rounds, or even just like somewhere in like the, uh, the mid thirties and above is probably going to be good for you. But that nade though, bro, the nade, I can't believe we naded bird eye.
You got them? We got them. We got them. Yo, we have to rewatch this back, okay? That was insanely clean. No, it, dude, we had bird eye, or no, who, I think it was, it was night, either night or bird eye right in my face at the truck. I mean, uh, you guys encouraged me to get the nades, all right? It was uh, Cora Tuna's encouraged me to get the grenades. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know if I would have nutted up enough for me to get the grenade. Matt's going to be so happy. Just wait until Matt Lynx figures this out. He's going to be like, we have content to upload to YouTube. So I got super lucky with that grenade kill on Bird Eye, which enabled me to get Big Pipe with a follow-up smoke grenade, which is kind of funny. Uh, and I was able to extract with the loot and get the quest complete. In a couple days, I'm going to be uploading a video talking about all the tips and tricks on how I found the goons and also how to eliminate them a little bit more efficiently and how you can get into the best position possible to get this quest complete. So subscribe here on YouTube. Consider watching my live stream Monday through Friday starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let me know what you think about the goons in the comment section below.